Hey y'all, Shafni Nicole here and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome to my little digital space where I teach you how to use your iPad, digital plan, and increase your productivity. In today's video, I will be going over GoodNote 6. It was just released last week and I wanted to give you guys a quick look at some of the new features that have been released to GoodNote 6. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first new update is the interface. You now have your tab options on the side. The other update is the toolbar. Now I'm going to go ahead and clarify how to use the hyperlinks now in your planner. So this little pin icon here will be what you use to navigate throughout your planners. The second update that you will see are of course the folders. In order to make a folder you will tap the plus sign and then you will come here and tap folder and here you'll be able to change the color of your folder and add icons. In order to change the color of a previous or prior folder you would just tap here on the drop down and you'll be able to change the color and the icon. Another new feature in GoodNote 6 is you'll be able to customize your notebooks now. What you're going to do is you're going to come over here and tap on this plus sign. You're going to tap on notebook. And then you're going to choose your template that you want to use. You'll be able to change the color by tapping on this little drop down. Customize template. And then you'll have a background color or a foreground color. We're going to change the background color. And then you have all these different options that you can use to change the background color. So you can do grid, spectrum, or sliders, or you can put in a hex code. And you can also use the little color dropper here to do so. And once you have your color, you will tap on apply. You can also, by enabling cover, you can then tap on the cover. Then you are able to select a different cover here, or again, customize your cover. You also have a spell check feature where it will automatically correct your misspellings when you're doing handwriting. For example, if I write the word hello, it's going to indicate that I spelled it wrong with the red dotted line underneath. I'm going to tap on it and then I can tap hello and it's going to give me the correct spelling in handwriting that is similar to mine. Another feature is word complete where it automatically completes the word for you. So if you are writing a word and you forget to complete it, what it will do is give you that red dotted line and you tap on it and tap on the word that you want and it will write it in handwriting that is similar to yours. Another feature is a scribble to erase. This feature is when you're writing in your handwriting and you make a mistake and you want to erase it. All you will do is just scribble across the word and it will erase automatically. If you go over here to your pen options and go to pen gestures, you'll be able to enable erase shapes and highlighter or you can disable it. You can now use the pen icon to lasso objects. All you have to do is circle around an object, tap on the line, and then you're able to move it around. Also, anything that you disable underneath Lasso Tool, for example, if I disable images and I go to Lasso, the only thing that will move is what is enabled. You can now convert your handwritten math equations to text. I'm going to write out an equation to give you an example. I'm going to lasso around it and then I'm going to choose convert and then I will get the options of text or math and I'm going to choose math. And now my handwritten math equation is text. Keep in mind that once this is converted you will not be able to change the equation. You also won't be able to change the color as well. On the side you will see that there is a marketplace and in here you will be able to find free interactive exam practice. All you have to do is just go under education you'll find some free interactive exam practice. So you have all of these different categories that you can do. And then you have the AI math assistants that will help you spot errors in your math equations. For example, if I write six times five is 29, it will spot that error, give me a red dotted line, and I'll tap on it and it'll say, hey, something doesn't look right. You need to check your work. 
Study Sets has also gotten an update where you can now customize the thumbnail color. You would type in your questions and answers and then you would tap on study and you can choose between smart learn or practice and then you will be able to interactively practice your questions. This feature is helpful for when you're using full page typing mode. All you have to do is select the text that you want. You're going to tap on this little icon here and then here you'll see what you can do. You can fix grammar and spelling, paraphrase, you can change the tone, make it longer or make it shorter. I'm going to choose paraphrase for this example. And then you'll see that it gives you the suggestion and then I can replace with the suggested sentence. GoodNote 6 will get some new features coming out, such as I think a pencil feature will be coming, dotted lines. You'll be able to do internal links between pages. Um, you'll be able to password protect your documents. And I think there is um, something like a AI chat box coming out as well. I would like to see some other features, especially for those of us who do use the app for digital planning and journaling, such as layering. I want to see layering. Hopefully they'll come out with that and a color dropper tool would be really nice. So I look forward to seeing all the new features that GoodNote 6 has to offer. I think for a student, these are some really good features that you'll be able to utilize um, for studying and school. GoodNotes is free to try for up to three notebooks. GoodNotes 5 users are able to try out GoodNote 6 with a seven day free trial. And after the trial, if you choose not to upgrade after the seven days, all you have to do is just go into the app, select the settings, go to settings, and then you'll see downgrade here. And you will just switch off run good notes in version six. Now there is also a yearly subscription, which is $9.99 or you can do a one-time payment of $29.99. If you previously used GoodNotes 5, um, you are able to get a discount and I'll display the pricing on the screen now. All right, y'all, that is it. Let me know down in the comments what y'all think of the new features and if you'll be upgrading, if you've already upgraded. If you have any questions, also leave them in the comments and I will respond to you. Go ahead and tap that thumbs up button if you found this video to be helpful. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out. And until next time, bye y'all.